Hey guys, so last time we talked a little bit about kind of just an introduction and we logged into Bloomberg and we did our first uh, kind of function. Today I kind of wanted to go through a little bit more uh, kind of some gem general functions. Uh, the next video we'll really start to dive deep into a specific company and that way you can, that's kind of what Bloomberg is known for the most I think is um, really kind of their equity research. You can really get inside of a company and learn what learn um, what they're about and their financials. Um, but today I wanted to show you a couple more general uh, things that Bloomberg can do. So first remember on the top of our box where the blue box is, and this can be done anywhere in the system, it doesn't matter what screen you're at. Uh, last time we typed in WEI, remember, and this gave us uh, kind of their, uh, kind of what the market did today. So when you're in this screen or when when you're in anywhere, it could even be on that front screen, uh, you can type in something else. Another thing I like to do on Bloomberg is kind of see the news of the day. Um, Bloomberg is also a, um, they make these Bloomberg terminals, but they also are a news organization and they compile news from uh, all over the world. So to see the top news stories of the day, you simply type in POP, T-O-P, and then enter. And this will get you kind of the top news stories of the day. So when I would start off my day, I would read through a couple of these, um, you know, click on a couple, see what's going on here. You can read it. You can press the back button here. You can press uh, this menu to return button or press the menu button, which is above F12 on the Bloomberg keyboard. Above F12 should be a green button that says menu, and that will always take you back. Um, to where you were. So keep that in mind. The Bloomberg uh, keyboards can look a little tricky, a little intimidating, but um, once you get the hang of it, it really is pretty user friendly. Um, you can also always narrow your searches. So uh, let's do a specific industry or something. We do, uh, let's do oil today. Let's see what the news is in oil. So type in oil, type in enter, and um, Speculator, short and crude oil. Um, this could end a great year. Charts, and we'll go through a little bit more of this in detail. But um, if you want to get that, get that so you, you're able to do that. Um, let's do the next one. I wanted to show you is WB, um, which is kind of the world bond for today. Uh, you go to WB. These are all kind of the uh, bonds for like we did with world equities, this is world bonds, Americas, uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa, Asia Pacific. These are all the 10 year bonds. So um, and then I look at the yield over here. So the 10 year um, bond is trading at 2.241 uh, for the United States. And we can switch this to the 30 year. Uh, typically, the bonds come in 2, 5, 10, 30 years. Uh, there's some 15 years, I think, in Europe, uh, but these are the the most popular ones uh, typically. Um, so the 30 year you can see is trading a little bit higher, uh, 2.98 uh, currently in America too. I think if you click on this, you can kind of get to see a, a graph of what it's done in the last year or so. We can adjust five year, um, one year, one month, whatever you'd like. Uh, this is the 30 year bond. And then all, also menu to return. So click the menu button or uh, that click up there and this will get you back to uh, where you're at always if you're in a weird spot you know you're here you don't know where to go you can always just type in up there at the blue box type in WB again and you'll get back to that screen that um, that we showed so uh, a couple things we wanted to sh show you today kind of the top news stories and then also we've shown you your equities uh, we now show you your bonds so um, kind of get some general things to work on uh, on YouTube. Thanks, guys.